Hi, there are two topics that I'd like to discuss in this tutorial. The first one being comparison of objects. And the second topic is usage of this keyword. <clears throat> I have created a small application to this end and also a spreadsheet where I discuss what happens in the memory when we create objects. So, this is a rectangle class which has two data members, width and height, followed by the getters and setters, default and parameterized constructor, some utility methods like area, diagonal and perimeter. You can also compute the longer and the shorter side, display, and now we come to the main method of our interest which is compared to rectangle other. Now please note that this method belongs to the class rectangle which means it has to be called on a rectangle object. It, use, it is also passed another rectangle object as a parameter. So it's called on an object and it is passed an object. So you can call this method as r1.compare to r2 given that r1 and r2 are both rectangle objects. When you call it as r1.compare to r2, r1 is the object on which you call the method and r2 is the other object. That's the more important thing. The other object is r2 inside the method. The method, the method bodies if area, which is a class method, is more than other dot area. Now please note that if we call the method as r1 dot compare to r2, so I'll make it a bit bold and underline it. You are calling the method on object r1. So when you call the method area, that method area is also called on object r1. That method area returns width multiplied by height, which is r1.width multiplied by r1.height. And it compares with other, which is r2, dot area. So it calls method area on object r2. So that's how objects are compared. What I've also done is I've created a client that has two rectangle objects r1 and r2 and I have r1.compare to r2 on this line. r1 is a rectangle of 8 by 5 while r2 is a rectangle of 2 by 16. So r1 is a rectangle of 8 by 5, r2 of 2 by 16. Their areas and perimeters and approximate diagonals are given over here. So we go back to our client and take a look at that method call which is r1 dot compared to r2. r1 is a rectangle so it calls compared to on object r1 area which is the area of the object on which compare to was called, which is R1. So R1 dot area. R1 dot area is R1 dot width, which is 8, multiplied by R1 dot height, which is 5. So area returns 40 back to this method call. So this is 40. Other is R2 as I just explained. Other dot area is other dot width which is r2 dot width which is 2 multiplied by other dot height which is r2 dot height which is 16. So the area returns 32. So that value is 32 and area was 40. So 40 is more than 32 it returns 1 which means R1 is more 
than R2. So compare to is a built-in Java method which is used by the built-in sort method that orders items as compared to each other. So R1.R2 should return 1. We run this code and we get 1 over here. So that's how objects are compared. Now the second point of this tutorial, which is the use of this operator or the this keyword. Take a look at the two setters I have. To make it clear, I'll group them together. <coughs> and I'll group the getters together as well. What I'm doing is, I'm passing a value w and I'm setting the width of the rectangle to the value w. But usually, you like to name the parameter as the same name as the data member, which makes it a bit more complex because now you don't know which width is the parameter and which width is supposed to be the data member. To clarify this, we use this operator. What the this operator does is it refers to the object on which the method is called. Let's take a look at the client and see what happens. Pay attention to the first line which is rectangle R1 is new rectangle 8,5. We call the constructor which is parameterized rectangle width comma height by supplying the values 8 and 5. In this method, it calls set width and passes the value of width that it received, which is 8. So we are calling set width 8. Set width into width. So width becomes 8. And this dot width, it refers to the data member width of the object on which the method is called, which is R1. So this essentially refers to R1 dot width becomes math dot absolute of width. This width is the parameter width that was supplied. So this provides a nice way of differentiating between either the parameter and the data member or the data member of one object with the data member of another object. So if I want to see public boolean longer width than rectangle other. So I I'd like to check if my rectangle has a longer width than the other rectangle. What I do is if width is more than other dot width. I return true. Otherwise, I return false. To further clarify that this width is the width of the object on which the method is called, we can use if this dot width is more than other dot width. So this simply refers to the object on which a particular method is called. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed that.